1 Corinthians 13, 2, if I have all prophetic powers and all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith as to move mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. I am nothing. Man, everything and nothing in the same sentence. That's a powerful bit of scripture, wouldn't you agree? Think about all those things that were in that list. There's all these things that are listed out there. And you can see them as it talks about it. It's talking about prophetic powers and understanding and knowledge and faith. Man, that is a huge list of stuff. How many people are a little bit short on that list right now? I'll tell you, I am, man. If you were like, hey, I heard this prophecy. Can you give me the answer? I'd be like, hold the phone. Hold the phone. All right, I'm out. No, no. <laughs> man, that God would, you know, that all of these things would be right there. And he says that's nothing. It's nothing without love. You know why? Because most of these things are correction. And correction without love is difficult. That's why it has to be with love. That's why God loved so much and he gave so many opportunities to the children of Israel, man, almost to a fault. It's like he just loved them and loved them and forgave them and the king would go and worship other people and he would bring someone to correct the king and that king would maybe change his mind, probably not, and then he would send another person and another person and another person. Does that sound familiar? Man, how many people in your life before you accepted Jesus did he send to you? before you accepted the love of Christ. Maybe you're in this room and you haven't accepted the love of Christ. Hi, I'm that person. It's good to meet you. I'm one of those people that's telling you, you need the love of Christ. And the reason I'm willing to do so is because the change he did in my life. See, you don't know me. You don't know the mistakes I made. I made mistakes that warrant me not being in the presence of God. But he forgave me. And he washed that stuff off, and I'm continuing to walk after him. Perfect? Absolutely not. I'm not perfect. But I'm going after Jesus. And that's what I want for you. That's what I want for every single person here, that we would be full of love, full of the power of God, and that all of that list would happen in our lives because of it. And we would be full of the Holy Spirit, full of the prophecy, full of knowledge, full of wisdom, full of faith to move mountains. See, we believe for that, man. We believe for healing. We believe for the miracle. We believe for it. And maybe you're here and you don't believe, man. I'm sorry. I believe for you. I'm believing for the miracle. I want to see God do stuff here in this church and in your life. I want to see you be healed. I want to see you have a financial miracle. I want to see all sorts of things happen that are good on your behalf. I'm believing for it. I'm asking the Lord for more wisdom, for more faith to believe. Because I know I can't do it. I can't make the miracle happen. It has to be him.